Thanksgiving just ended, and now that means the start of Christmas lightings. Earlier tonight, Barbara Ron went to the lighting of one of Barracksville's historical landmarks. What first started as a way to bring the community together during the 2020 pandemic holiday season has now evolved to honor those in the Barrickville community who have died by lighting the Barrickville covered bridge. Diana and Will Marple came up with the idea to include the bridge in Christmas activities for the first time, but they ran into a small problem. So we were like researching and trying to figure out how many extension cords we need. We didn't realize there was no power down here. <laughs> no power. That first year, they borrowed a generator and ran the lights for a day and then took everything down. But thanks to donations, starting in 2022, they were able to have a consistent power source for the bridge. Unfortunately, Will Marple, Diana's husband, was not able to see this happen as he died in 2021 from COVID, becoming the first memorial honoree of the bridge lighting ceremony. He meant everything to us. We did everything together. When he had this crazy idea, he, did, he told our family, but we had no idea how much work was actually going to go into it. And so we drove down and saw all the work that night that he and Diana did by themselves. And we promised him, you will never do this by yourselves again. We're going to continue this tradition. And he had basically blueprints made for how he wanted to continue the next year. Now, in addition to lighting the bridge, there is also a memory tree for visitors to write their loved one's name on it. This year's memorial service was held in honor of John Berrickman. The bridge stands at 145 feet and was built in 1853 by Eli and Lemuel Chenoweth. And not only has it stood the test of time, but also the Civil War. Even then, it will still cost $300,000 to restore, according to Diana. There are 17 covered bridges in the state that the West Virginia Department of Highway owns. They do not have funding set aside to preserve or repair any of them. So our community decided that we needed to be a little more proactive and try to raise funds. The bridge is rooted in the Barrickville community. We've had weddings here, um, prom pictures. When you come down, you can't find uh, a space on the bridge for all the kids getting prom pictures done, and it's just wonderful. It was even listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1981. To learn how you could donate towards restoring the bridge, you can visit our website at WBOY.com. Reporting in Barrickville for 12 News, I'm Barbara Vaughn.